Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette. Welcome to my studio. Today, we're going to have some fun playing with my planner bullet journal. A lot of you expressed that you would like, um, you would like, um, to see me work in this and make it. So it was almost unanimous from everybody that comments on a regular basis. So I figured I would go ahead and film it as I work on it. So it's not something you have to watch every day because I am not going to be doing it every day. It is strictly set it up for the month. The next time you'll probably see it will be about a month from now. So, you know, cause we're gonna set up all of, well, there's only a week and a half left of August and then there is um, September. So we're gonna go that far. And it does mean you're going to, because you want to watch it start to finish of each month, um, you're going to have to see the cutting and the gluing and all that. I mean, that's what this is. It's a lot of cutting and gluing, but it's simple, it's easy, and that's going to be the fun part. Um, I also think that uh, I was chatting with Gail and she suggested that maybe I um, also, you know, show you how to do the altered book because I'm using altered books and these are just dollar store books that I'm using um I don't know we might see a bad word here and there but I really haven't the ones I've picked out I've been very fortunate don't have a lot of bad words in them so knock on wood of course now I probably just jinx myself <laughs> so anyway welcome to all my new subscribers I've gotten quite a few thanks to Miss Gail who um uh, put a link on her channel because she was showing some of my work. Thank you, Gail. I really, really appreciate that. So more of you have found me for the first time. So welcome to all of you and hugs and kisses to each and every one of my followers who've been following me since day one. And even those of you who have joined me more recently than that. So welcome everyone. Let's get down to play. This is a fun project. My I used to do an old school planner uh, but I really prefer the bullet journal. In my one of my last videos, I went and showed you this journal, you know, kind of what I did and how it worked. And um, so I'm going to sort of go that way. It's going to be a combination of two things, but it is going to be bullet. It is going to allow me to write some things in there and there'll be a few pockets. This one, like I said, had like pockets everywhere and I'm not going to do that this time. So what I'll do is we'll get started, but I've picked out my cover. I have done a little pre-cutting, so you don't have to watch me do so much cutting. These are pieces that we're going to be adding. Um, this is the September, which we'll be doing that. Uh, these are the things I have ready. But what I'm going to do, for those of you who have never altered a book, and um, you do not have to do this planner altered book style. If you have happy planner punches and rings, you could take all of these pieces of paper and just punch the edge to get your... Um, for your planner and do it the same way. You could put them on book pages that you pulled out of a book and do them that way and still use the happy planner rings and um, pages. Hold on a minute. Let me grab one of my one of my happy planners for those of you who maybe aren't familiar with them. Um, I have what's called a Hobonichi style planner that I did. That's a bullet journal and um, it has the rings and the punch. So you could take all these same pages and do it that way. They wouldn't be skinny like this. But this is a planner that I did. And I was thinking about going back to that style. But I'm going to try this first. If it doesn't work for me, then I'll probably end up going back to this. But I'll be doing it junk journal style. Just using the rings and the punch. Because I do have the, um, the planner punch. So, um, yeah, if, if I can't get this to work for me, then I will go back to this. But I was really, really, really happy with this. So I think that's going to be what I'm going to do. Excuse me, I have the hiccups again. Just had lunch. My husband was so kind. And I don't, you guys don't know this about me, but my favorite thing to do is to have movie theater hot dog. Oh, I absolutely adore them. And popcorn for lunch and a, and a diet soda. And so once in a blue moon, if I've been a really good girl and I'm feeling okay, I get to have one of those. So about once a month or every two months, we get a treat. So it was my time for a treat. So I got one of those today. I'm so excited. So hopefully it doesn't upset my tummy. We'll see. All right. So let's get to work. Enough of that. You don't need to know all that personal stuff. So when I'm prepping, I'm going to set that aside for a minute. When I'm prepping a journal, I like a book that is between two and 350, about 250 to 350 in pages. So this book is at 289. So it's a little bit smaller, but that's fine. So one of the things I do 
is I like the blank page. I'll usually keep a couple of the first pages. There's a prologue, let's see. I will actually just keep all these in here to start. So I'll make my very first page that I'm going to glue down. I'm gonna get some glue here. Um, and I'm gonna get a little punch. All right, so I am really far away from the table. Hold on a minute. <laughs> okay, there, Alrighty. Now, so the first thing I'm going to do is I take a page, turn it over, okay? Because this is gonna be the very first, this first page of the chapter is going to be the first page that I'm going to use. Now, if the book is not very thick, let's say you have a 500 page book, you can take out more pages in between, and I'll explain that in a minute, if you have a bigger book. If you have a smaller book, you don't wanna take out as many pages because then you won't have very many pages to decorate for your bullet journal. Now, when you're doing an altered journal and you don't need tons of writing pages, but you maybe want it to be more artsy. You take out a lot of pages in between your pages so that you don't have as many to decorate because it gets tedious after a while. All right, so we have that first page. Then I'm gonna pick one, two, three. Now, sometimes I like as many blank pages as I can get to play with. Now, I see that every three pages, which is gonna make it difficult for me, because if I wanna leave this plain and just decorate up here, I could, because there's all this blank space. And I like to use as much of the natural blank space in a blank space in a book. Yikes. As I can get, say that fast, I dare ya. All right, so um, this book, I want that page, so one, two, three. Normally I'm gonna rip those out. Just thinking my way through this, ladies. I don't think it's gonna work the way I want, so I'm just not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna pull out the three. Okay, now I was worried about this because these are cheap books. A lot of times they'll rip out the other. You can use an X-Acto knife if you prefer, but what we like to do with these is, okay, we've ripped these out, right? And there's a gap. Do not worry and don't try to get all that out of there. You wanna keep a little bit if there's a little rippage because if you do it keeps the strengthens the spine if you rip it out too far to the spine even these books these newer books cheaper books though fall apart so the goal next is to take now some people put glue over all over the whole page i do not and i'll tell you why because it makes the page wrinkle big time even if you're using a glue stick because i'm not leaving a pocket or anything I'm just going to close the book a bit, put it down. And what the purpose of ripping the pages out is to remove bulk. Because if you tried to decorate every one of these pages, it would be open like this, you know, it would be huge. So we've done that. We're gonna turn it over. We're gonna go like that. Now, if I had a huge white page here, I might leave it, but I don't. So this is going to be my next page. I'm gonna pull that over. I'm gonna take out one, two, three. Now remember, I'm only taking a few out because this has less than 300 pages. If it had more pages, I might take four. Now when I'm working on a big book and I'm doing a journaling one or I'm doing an actual art journal book or a look book, those are things that you don't do much writing in. It's mostly for decoration. I will take six to 10 pages out, but because this is a bullet journal, I'm only gonna take three. So let's hope I don't mess up because I've never done this and talked at the same time. So we'll see what happens. So now I'm going to take, if I wanted a pocket here that I could use, I would snip this, I would glue it on top and bottom and leave it open here. Or if I wanted to drop it in, I would make an L go around, snip this up here, and that would tell me it's a pocket. But I just did that and I forgot to glue along here. I'm not doing any pockets right here. This is mainly just to keep these pages together, to fill in the gap and hide where I've ripped out those pages. And it's best to kind of close the book when you do it, then go this way and make it flat. All right, so this is how we're prepping our book. 
So again, we go with that. One, two, three, because this has not got a lot of pages. And I'm not going to put any pockets in the front of this book. But I am going to put some in the back. Because I every month I always have something that I need to keep track of. And instead of just shoving it into the book... You don't care if there's an air bubble here. You really don't, because this is all about the planner. It's, I mean, it's not about um, journaling and, and stuff like that. It's about the planner. So again, we're going to take the one, one, two, three. If I feel like I'm going to have too many pages, I can start taking more or less as I go. This one's a booger. Hmm, I was afraid of that. Okay, so when that starts happening... Oh, there is, excuse my arm, I'm looking for my cutter. Oh, there we go. When that starts happening, I just... Ugh, not what I wanted to do. But this happens, it happens to all of us. It's usually not this bad, but you know, I am doing this on camera, so of course. I will peel out some of that because I don't really want all that roughage. Again. And I will tell you, my favorite time to do this is right in front of the TV, watching a program that I don't, I, I've watched before, it's a rerun or a movie that I've seen before. Put on one of my favorite movies and do this because you're just going one, two, three, rip, glue. One, two, three, rip, glue, right? So. That little rip there will be covered up by the page. And that's all you do. You just keep going through your book. And then I like to go, before I get any further, I go to the back and you see how many white pages are, yay. So I can write notes and things back there. Hmm. So this is where, if I'm going to put any pockets, I'll put them in the back. Now, I want all those to be blank. I want that to be blank. There's a blank page there, so I'm gonna leave that blank. Um, I'm gonna leave that. Probably right about here, I'm gonna do some pockets. So I'll work from the back. So we'll actually make this our first page, right? And we'll go, let's see, do I wanna? Yeah, we'll make this the page. And then we'll go one, two, three. So we're kind of working backwards here. Now, I want this to be a pocket, as I've said, so I am going to, we now have this gap with all these pages we took out, so I am going to put a little thumb tap. If it looks awkward, it kind of is the way I'm doing it, but it works. All right, so we're gonna glue again, but this time, I'm only gonna go top. And bottom and we're gonna close this book all the way otherwise you're gonna get this funny gap and there you have it you got your first pocket I'd like to so Again, I'm gonna rip out three. Oh no, wait, let's see, is that gonna give me a, I need to have, make sure there's a page between here and there, so yeah. I need that page, and I'm gonna take out three. Go back, and I'm gonna take and put a little, hope I'm explaining this well, ladies, I don't know. Never, I don't like doing tutorials, so. I don't mind sharing with you how I do things. I don't know if this is the right way or the wrong way. Everybody does their books very differently. Um, mine is a, a combination of different ladies. Uh, Gail, 
and I can't think of her name, Barbara something. Um, I guess there's a gal who they all learn from and I learn from them. So really I learned from Gail. I think she was the first person I ever saw do these. Uh, okay, so now I have two pockets back here that allow me to put various knickknacks in. So I think I'll stop right there for the back. So that's all ready to go. So now that guides me as to how many um, I have to do from here. Now, if I end up with an odd amount of pages, I may end up with a third pocket. I like three to four pockets in the back, but for now, two is okay because I may end up with some more. So I don't think I'll keep going on that um, because we are burning time here. I'm looking at my about 45 minutes we'll come back to this and do some more if I have time but I doubt I will so we'll see but you guys have the idea you just keep going through take a page rip three glue them together take a page rip three five seven nine however big your book is depends on how big a gap you want um, this particular book I am actually thinking I might make this a um, like a notebook uh, it's going to be a bullet journal again, but not by date. Um, it's actually just going to be a flat bullet journal. No dates on it. Just write the date when I when I write in it. So I think that this that's what this is going to be. And I have to figure out what kit I want to use. Or I may use um, scrapbooking paper. Gosh, that word just would not come. That was like gone. Scrapbooking paper. There we go. I'll see. I might use scrapbooking paper for this. I, I really don't know yet. Uh, or it might, or I might just use all kind of fun old, like documents or um, some kind of lined paper. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but we'll see. That's what this one's gonna be. It's because I've already got two prepped. I already have two prepped for the planner, so I don't really need that one as a planner. But what I'll do is I'm gonna pull these pages and put those with the book. All right, so let's get, and you've seen this one, so we're going to take that off my desk. Let's make room for the work we need to do right now. First thing I like to do on this is the cover. Um, or do I want to wait and do it after? You know what? It's going to be, I don't want to damage the cover when I'm gluing, so maybe I will wait a little bit to do. The pages are prepped and ready to go. So what I'll do is I'll just put a little paper clip on here and um, set that aside for the minute. All right, so I do, first thing I do when I do this is I get a page from the book and I lay it down to see where I want everything to be. How much do I want off? Do I want it to fit in the seam? And do I want a little off the top and bottom? So I cut it the way I want it and I write all over it that it's my template and then I'm going to be using it as my template. So. That's the first thing I do to make things go quicker so I don't have to keep, you know, remeasuring every single time. I can just lay these papers down on it and do that. So I've already pre-cut these using my template. Now, normally I don't have this stuff sitting in here, but because I do, I... don't want to pull those out because I'll forget what I plan for each page. My memory's just not that great. You know, I'm going to check my camera here. Okay, it's good. I just want to make sure we're okay. I'm not trusting the electronics these days. They've been very crabby. So what I'm going to do is take this piece of paper right there. So if I do any gluing or I go over, I don't get it on anything that's underneath, right? Okay. And then I'm also going to grab an old ad. An old Joanne ad. And let's see. I don't want. What do I want? I want a pen here for a minute. Be with you in a minute. Oh, that's not going to cover. Okay. Well, <laughs> I was trying to cover up my address, but I'll just use the other side. Just kind of busy. I think this is clear back to who knows when. Now, I use a lot of glue stick when I'm doing my planners. And then what I do is I seal around the edges using my um, 
art glitter glue. Not that you really need to watch me glue, but that is how this planner is made. It's a lot of glue. There's no magic to this. It's just cut and paste, cut and paste. Which can be sort of tedious and time consuming, but it can be fun. I like to do this in front of my TV. I get out a big TV tray and that's when I like to assemble my, um, my books. And I'm gonna have to stick my head in here just a little bit. Now this one, I pretty much cut to fit the entire, um, and you will need a glue spreader, the entire page of the book. I didn't cut off a lot. And probably need a, a wet and a dry wipe because you're gonna get very, very gluey. Now, if it doesn't um, want to wrap, then I get out my art glitter glue and I run that along the edge. I probably could have cut this just a bit shorter instead of making it wrap because I have a feeling that it may end up being a pain later, but we'll see. It's for me. I'm not selling this. I'm not giving it away. It's just for me. I don't really care, but I mean, I do always want to do a nice job even for myself, right? All right. Ta-da! First page in. Now we're going to do this over here. And we are going to line it up. It seems a bit tight. Hmm. It does seem a bit tight on this outside edge. I did trim it, but I think I'm going to have to do a bit more trimming. So I did make sure that I had... Let me cover up some of these glues. It's warm today. It's high 80s. And um, this room is warm. It's late afternoon. So uh, let me just take off like, just a tiny little, <laughs> tiny little hair. And let's hope that that did it. Yep, I have to leave that under there. Yep. So let's see if I got it to the very edge. And then it's into the seam there. It's still too wide. What? I know I measured this. I measured it about five and a half, I think. better. All right. I think we got it. Took us a couple tries there. I normally don't um, fit it so tight onto the page. I usually leave space top and bottom. Hmm. I thought I already pre-cut this. I must be having a one of those days. Well, I hope you're all very happy and well and getting on with things. Hopefully you're crafting or about to. And I know some of you were interested in doing this with me, so I hope you've gotten yourself a dollar store book and we're ready to go. If not, pause the video, get all your goodies, get your kits. There are a lot of good kits out there. Um, Tracy Fox at Love Jug Journals has one, which is what I'm using. Um, My Porch Prince has one, which I have used in the past. Amity Bloom has one. Um, I don't know who else. I'm not sure if Lorna at Taylor Made Journals has one. I don't remember. I know that quite a few of the ladies do, and I was very surprised. And how many actually had planner kits out. Because it's not their normal thing, you know. They're usually junk journal um, designers. 
I know my daughter has in her um no 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 um in her shop has stickers and things for planners uh but she doesn't have full kit um but she does have great uh stickers and labels and all kinds of cute things that can be used for planners so you can check her shop out and words and stuff like that so yep all the way to the edge on that no matter how hard I tried I really couldn't make it go any further in so that's okay right and I'll go back and check corners once everything's dry and then like I said I'll just stick the little no nozzle of the glitter glue in there so anyway Oh, no, that's got to go over there. Oh, that one has to be cut. All righty. So this is when we need our... What did I do with my... Hello? Didn't I just have that out? Oh, lordy. Here it is. Template. So you will get to see me do this one. Oh, I lost a big old hunk of glue there. I don't know if you could see that. Yikes. Some There's some glue on this one, boy. It's not going anywhere. All right. So let me... The reason I'm using a template, and normally if you're using my... If I'm using Big Bertha, then I would lay it out and know that, okay, five inches, this inches, this inches. But the thing is, because there's white here and there, I kind of have to lay it on here to get where I want, might want it. Now, I know that this is at the five inch mark. So I'm definitely going to pre-cut this at five inches. And now I'm gonna lay this on here and figure out my height. Because there is images, you know, and I have to decide how much of that image at the top and bottom do I want to cut off and where do I want to cut it. Sometimes there's faux stitching on the pages or something like that. And so you have to decide, you know, how much do you want to cut off. I've always been a planner girl. I've always made lists and written things down. I'm not, you know, and it was always on loose papers and whatever before before there was this big, huge planning world. Um, and did I do that upside down? Of course I did. Okay, well, that's all right. This one's cut and ready to glue, and this one is now cut and ready to glue, thanks to my little template. I didn't have to sit here and hem and haw and figure it out and do all that good stuff. So that that's good. All right, so I'm gonna set my planner over. I'm gonna bring back my glue page. I am going to there we go. So I usually do the right page than the left page, but you could do it however you want. That is pretty sticky. I am going to just fold that over. And we'll use this. This is a really old flyer. I've had it forever. I don't even know. It was just in a pile of stuff to throw away. And I thought, no, I'll keep it and use it as a glue sheet. Since honestly, the glue pages are never big enough for me. I just don't think those little pages are doing enough for me. I need to be able to go all over the place. I think that takes some skill that I don't have. I'm going to be getting out a wet one in a minute here. I'm already getting extremely gluey. Yeah. Okay. Now, what happens is as you do this more and more, especially if you sit and do it all in one day, you pre-prep. This particular planner, you can pre-prep. When I'm doing a bullet journal, I don't because I don't know how many pages I might need to write down things. When I'm using the calendar style, um, oh, that was not even at all. Yuck. This stuff sticks really quick, too. I mean, it's not as fast as, let's say, quick as um, the 
Wow, what the heck? Hmm. Uh oh. Hmm. Well, it's gonna stay there and I'll be trimming because if I try to do anything else now, you know what I'm gonna have to do that. It's gonna be washi tape. I will fix that with washi tape. Luckily, this is not a necessary page. These book pages are very thin too, I have to say. I won't fix that until I glue this page in and then I will. Okay. I think I need to cut my pages more. I think I'm leaving them too fat. five yep I'm gonna go just a little bit more and I'm gonna take just a bit more off the top I'm gonna have to I think I'll recut my um my template yeah I think I'm gonna recut my template just a bit I feel like it's just too tall to leave a little bit of page around it so you can see what to do if you're not happy with your templates ha ha you gotta cut them down a little bit Let me see. I'm just going to make this five and or four and three quarters instead of five, I think, which means I'll be cutting down some more pages. But yeah, I think that's a better size. But this is how you do it. You know, at first, when you're first making something, you know, it takes a little, some trial and error to figure out, you know, what you, what you need and what's going to work with the book that you're working with. Because all these books are different sizes. You would think they all look the same, but their pages are different sizes. So now I know this is wrinkling up. I'm going to use my hands a little bit to dry it. So it's not, and I'm going to push it down and yeah, and I have that rip. So I'm going to be going through my, um, got some new washi tape. Maybe I'll use that one right there. It's very sticky. Let's see which one's this. Mm, oh, this is a Cartabella. Yeah, that's a Cartabella. So it should be a pretty good one. But I have some, I have some Tim Holtz I really like. I think I would use in here. All right, so this page is for notes. So I'm not sure how far we'll get, but. I would love to at least get to the month part. I have got to get this done. I could do like maybe one and two. Part one and two. We'll do August part one and two or setting it up and part starting your planner and then part one and then, you know, then we'll go planner, September, October, you know, something like that. We could do it that way so you guys know when. Those are on there. I don't know if I yeah, I think you would be bored out of your minds, but it's totally up to you. And you know, I did not mean to glue on that, but apparently I wanted to. <laughs> there is a top and a bottom to this page, so kind of, sort of. Because I want to be able to just eyeball the edge. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. I want to, like, leave a little space on the side and the bottom, which is why I cut this down. And once I get the first few done, then it'll go much quicker. Where did my card go? It's got to be under something here. Ah, oh, here it is. I'm going to have to dig out my Tim Holtz for this. Boy. Because I plan to leave this page and just decorate it. I didn't plan to put any, like, paper on it. So it'd probably be okay. I'm gonna have to look at my, um, let's see, where are my Tim Holtz tapes? Let me see if I can find them. Usually they're right here. Excuse my arm, my side, my whatever. There we go. All right. Whew, it's a lot to move that chair. I got a big butt. I mean, rare. <laughs> okay, let's see. I know there was a blue, aha, there is. Of course, it's on the bottom. Mm. 
I'm looking at the different colors to see if I see if I like something better. Not really. This is my favorite. Ugh. I bought another roll of it too. I think I bought a new, is this my new one? I bought two because I really love it and I wanted to have, I don't know where the other one went. I thought I bought another one. Huh. Did I? I'm looking at my, yeah, I did. Oh yeah, I did buy another one. I did buy another full set of these because I like it so much and I use it all the time. Okay, I don't think this is wide enough. I don't know how I'm gonna make that work. I'm not good at, oh dear, I'm not good at repairing with washi, so not my thing. Okay. Hello, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. There's the end. It's playing hide and seek with me. Not particularly um, sticky either. I mean, Tim Holtz ones are really good. But I feel like these skinny ones... Not so much. Come on now. I don't think that helped any. No, it's still coming out. Oh, I need to get it on. I got too close on that side. That's not what I need to do. Like I said, I never do this, so I don't know how really. All right, we're going to learn together. I need my scissors. Come on, scissors, where are you? guess we're going to learn this together because I have never done this. I know you have to get on that side and that side, right? But this isn't wide enough. I just feel like this is not successful here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, my other option is to rip the page out and glue it. I haven't done any gluing over here and glue it over here. Yeah, I'm having no luck with this, so. Okay. I'm just gonna leave that on there and not worry about it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to glue it onto that page. I didn't really have anything that was gonna go there, so just like a little blank page yeah so I think that's what I'm gonna do it's just gonna be a very thick page my goodness I just glued on there pretty good let me just cut off the excess on this okay so this is how you fix a page you just rip it out and that's why we don't pre-do too many pages. We do it as we go, in case we have to fix it. It didn't leave, it came out so nice and clean, it was fine. So I'll just glue it to this page. And it's not too close to the edge, so I think it'll work out. Okay, I do wanna take a little off the top and bottom. Sorry guys, yikes. Um. cover up your glue it's just going to get all funky if I don't keep it covered so I was saying that I thought see I hate to cut off that stitching I just love that stitching that's on the paper so maybe I could just cut off a little and there's not really much I can lose at the bottom excuse me I'm all over the place here. Okay. this is taken oh darn I lost that pretty little page I was gonna to um decorate oh well 
but it is what it is. You know, you just got to go with the flow. And I loved this page, but we're just going to have to change it because I want this in there. This is your calendar, that quick look. Yes, I have a phone and all that other fun stuff I could look at. I suppose I could buy a calendar at the store and I've tried and I just don't like the way they're laid out. And I wasn't enjoying the way the happy planners were laid out. So, I, and I'm a paper girl and I'm a journal girl and I'm a vintage paper girl. So, I'm a digital paper girl. So it made, didn't make sense for me to do all that, you know? These pages are gonna be very substantial and they are so fun to work with, I have to tell you. All right, so. Where's my other? Oh, oh dear, there it is, stuck. <laughs> All right, so we have our dress pages and I think I've cut these appropriately. What did I cut these to? I might mount this one, this, this, um, page to some cardboard so I don't get it confused and throw it away thinking it's something else. Oh, mama. All right. If you're going to cut them down, put your two pages together that are going to be mirrors so that they're cut identical and it'll be just easier all around. I don't like to be perfect, but every now and then, yeah, we got to kind of, you know, and I'm going to trim the outside of the image versus the inside of the image. And luckily, I've kept this right next to me. So are we at? Yes, we are. We're at five and three quarters. So I will put that on there at five and three quarters. And throw that away. And then we're going to cut it down where I want to cut top or bottom. We'll cut from the top. Oh, we actually had one page longer than the other. Well, that wasn't going to work anyway. So just as well, right? on me. <sighs> You'll notice there's a band-aid here. I was putting away some paper packs <laughs> and you know how you stick your hand between? Well, caught my nail, yanked it back, passed the quick, blood everywhere. So it was band-aid time. That's going to take a bit to heal, I'm pretty sure. It always takes forever when those to grow out. I used to like to stick this page right, get glue on it and stick it right in there, but I found that it made it harder to open and close the book, so I don't do that anymore. So that's why I'm leaving a gap now. I never used to leave a gap, but I, I really think it's important that I do that. Okay, so let me glue this one in first. Hmm. Yep, I knew there was a page under there. It didn't look right. Seem to be, I seem to be off today. I'm very off. It is a Saturday, and I think I'm just like, but it's the only time I really have to work on this journal, and I'm already, this two weeks are gone of August. It's time for me to, to get busy here, so I got to get this done. I need to use this. I have appointments for the end of the month that I need to get in here, some notes and things I want to make sure that I do, so I really need to get this done. And I haven't even gotten to the month part. This is all just the prep, setting it all up. Because I wanted some of these things in here. I wanted some phone numbers and addresses, because believe it or not, I do snail mail. 
and send out still send out birthday cards and anniversary cards and thinking of you cards so I still have friends that I and family members that I do that with especially my older family members my aunts and uncles and stuff that are just a few that are left um okay there was a card here where did I put it there it is I don't think today's video is going to be as funny as my last one, so this one's going to be kind of boring. Sorry, ladies, unless I say some stupid thing like I did last time about being pregnant. <laughs> that was so funny. Apparently, a few of you spit your coffee out, ran for the bathroom, a few other funny things, so I love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm glad I can entertain you. That's what I am here for. Bring some lightness to the day for both of us, right? It's pretty boring here otherwise. At my house anyway we're not doing anything right now i will say i'm gonna tell on my husband he did buy himself a new tv but you know that man worked hard his entire life provided for all of us gave us all every single thing we could possibly need and does the same for his grandchildren and his children still he's still a giving generous man and when he said he was thinking about a new tv and it was kind of extravagant i told him go for it you've already had one heart attack there's no guarantee for tomorrow, so if you want a new TV, you buy yourself whatever you want, sweetie. He's always gone. He had the same truck forever. It was like 22 years old. Well, closer to 30 years, I think, old, and he bought it used. But we could have a newer family car, and he's just always given and done everything for us. So I told him, you spoil yourself, buddy. Life is very short. We can do it. So just take care of yourself. Do something for you. And of course, I benefit. I love watching movies. So I'm okay with it. So he is working on that right now while I'm doing this. He's trying to get it all dialed in and, you know, the whole bit. So Mr. Electronics, he loves electronics, but doesn't buy a lot. He's always, he's always, you know, denied himself everything for us, for me. I told him to go for it. Do it treat yourself he's like a little kid on Christmas I love it super thrilled he did can't wait to see this thing it's mammoth but we like we love movies and we don't go anywhere we don't travel we don't do anything because of my health so this is our vacations we don't take you know what I mean we've saved a lot of money during the time of COVID from not going anywhere and doing anything not really buying anything because there wasn't anything to buy A and B. Couldn't hardly even buy food because that wasn't there. So we saved a lot. So. Do need a couple new couches though or a big old sectional, which I think goes well with a TV. Ours are about done. We knew when we retired we were going to replace everything when he, within the first two years of his retirement so that, um, you know, we wouldn't need to do anything after that so now this is our months and and the reason um these are so we have i can do the birthdays are going to get written in here tracy i love 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 the way you put this kit together oh my gosh you did an uh, you thought really hard about what we would need and you did a great job I mentioned her I was doing this. In fact, I need to let her know that I'm starting the planner using her. I'm doing a video using her planners and I started it. And what days she might want to take a peek because this is a fabulous, fabulous planner. And I believe I'm using it as ugh, intended. So <laughs> I'm not a little glue or anything, right? Let's see, January, February, March. Okay, gotta make sure my dates are correct. I could ink down around the sides of this. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna, but. Definitely need something to spread your glue out with. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So as you see, it's coming together now, right? Isn't this fabulous? Oh my gosh, I love it. I can't wait to use this. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to have to let it dry for a good 24 hours before I do. Ah, help. I feel 
like a fly on a fly sheet. Yikes. Oh, now I got a wrinkle. <sighs> well. I'm holding my breath. I shouldn't do that. I'm going to pass out. I'm a crazy girl. I got to hold your breath when you're doing that, but otherwise my hands will shake. Oh, yay. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Okay. Tell me I'm there. Am I there? Hey, I finally got there. Oh, my gosh. Shoot. I'm going to go over, though, I bet, trying to just show you the first month. Ugh. Well, we'll try. We'll give it a shot. I pre-cut as much as I... Oh, ouch. As much as I could. So... I just couldn't do any more pre-cutting. Let me... Um, do I want to take the middle out? Wait a minute. Hold on. i got to figure this out. All right. So, I can't get it too thin. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch it because I have to get this on there. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, okay. So, I'm going to have to make this one page... <laughs> bigger so I'm not going to cut it with that I am going to have to cut this at the five not the four and a half. Oh, I hate cutting off all that pretty oh well I'll use it for something else yeah I can't go any smaller or it won't fit all right so we know that that's a must um I am basically fussy cutting this meaning I am doing it to cut off exactly what I want to cut off and leaving what I need to leave tricky 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 and I gotta hope that it will fit on the page because I hadn't thought about the calendars oops come on now that I was going to be adding because Tracy didn't have those but I really need one so I'm a monthly and daily planner I need to see my whole month at a glance and then you know use the daily as the bullet journal so this is planner bullet journal for this reason okay so now oh it'll fit it's fine it works and then that's going to go on there and I'm going to decorate I'm going to put the name up here and decorate that and then I'm going to decorate down here so what I could do is Finish getting all of August done offline, you know, and then um, hold on, I'm thinking, and then decorate it, you know, on. Did I just do that right? Tell me I did. I did. Okay. I'm going to have to cut some top and bottom off. Is that right set up? Yes. Because you can see the pattern continues right here. So I want to make sure. Whew. This is the finer points. This is a start to finish. This is what you see is all the cutting, the gluing, the fussing, the... Um, per, you know, not perfection, but trying to make sure it works because it has to. This is a book. This is not ephemera that I'm making here or even a journal from scratch. I'm working with something that has set parameters, so I, I have to kind of make sure it's going to work. All right, so, oops, wrong side up. There we go. This allows me to decorate, 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 fill the month in. I'll probably use a, oh, let me see. Oh, I just got my arm full of glue stick. <laughs> Yo, and, um, let me see if I have a micro pen. I do. Um, this is a five. Yeah, that probably, I don't know if that's going to be too thin. Let me look at my Yeah, it seems like I used a 
heavier pen for the, and then did the writing in a little bit lighter pen, maybe in a three. Because this, this is an, o, an 05 micro point, micron pigment pen. I need to order some more of these. My number one is all getting all dried out. I use it to sign all of my little pieces that go on the back of my work. So this is where we would do the month. Now the month, um, excuse my arm, my side. This is a little Dollar Tree calendar I was going to use and I didn't like. It's too big on my desk. So I am going to, today is the 14th. So I'm going to start this. Let me see. How does this week start? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we're going to start with a Monday. So we'll start with Monday. Is the 1st to the 31st. Okay, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, twenty-one. So I'm actually going to be starting this book on these last two weeks. Starting on Mon a Mon I just did that wrong, guys. Monday was the second. See my calendar here starts on Sunday. This one starts on Monday. So I did just do that wrong, and I was trying to be so careful. Ugh. Okay, so that will get used for something else, which means now I'm going to have to rerun those pages because I won't have enough. Ugh. Unless one of the months happens to start a Monday on the 1st. So I may be able to use it for one of the other months. Mm, I messed that up. <sighs> was copying this calendar. It starts a Sunday. This one, see, starts a Monday. So this would start as a 2. Monday would be the ninth, so I'm checking the calendar hopefully correctly today. 10, 11, 12. Well, I just looked at my clock and I'm about to run out of time, but you get the idea. You saw what could just happen if you use something like this that's blank. If you could find one that's already got your dates filled in, shrink it down and glue it on your page, that's probably a good way to do it too. Um, but I like this one, so I am going to do that and decorate. And luckily, this kit comes with... Oh, hold on a minute. This kit comes with the minis that will go on your tabs, which I'm going to put on the tab side. But here, I'm going to cut out August. Hold on a minute. I'm going to cut out August and it's going to go up there. I don't know where my scissors are. And that is where that's going to go. And I will see what else I might have, you know, what I have to decorate with. I have a lot of Tracy Fox ephemera and other ephemera that I think would look good with this. So, you know, I'll... So there you go. We're, we're doing the August and I'm going to be doing the last two weeks. So what will happen is I'll put the pages in here for these last two weeks and then we'll all set it up for us. I'll have everything cut and ready to go for September and we'll do that then. So, well, thank you for coming along with me as we got our planner started. You also got a feel for how to, you know, prep your book. Um, I was hoping we could get back to it, but there just isn't enough time in it in a video to, to get it all done. So I want to thank you all for watching and hanging out in my studio with me today as I started my 
bullet planner and I hope that you will come back and join me for some more videos hopefully making this planner and um, whatever other project that you know I move on to so thanks a lot everyone I'll see you all very soon hugs and kisses bye bye